we're disproving the notion that you're walking into uh, you know, a head shop from the 70s. You won't find bongs or underground comics in, in a Liberty store. You will find highly curated devices for consuming vaporizing cannabis. Devices that look more like memory sticks and e-cigarettes rather than, you know, the, the good old fashioned glass bong or, or wood pipe. Our store smells like a Gucci store, an Apple store, a makeup store. Um, there's no, you know, that, that's a, there's a preconceived notion that you're walking into a place where, you know, everybody just finished the joint before you walked in and, and that is not the case here. A patient can expect to spend anywhere from you know $35 to $150 in a visit. There are subsidies um, that are being created by the state of Pennsylvania that aren't, aren't widely publicized, but that are afforded to customers and, and patients in the state. If somebody is looking for, for pot, for cannabis, they can probably make a phone call and they're a degree or two of separation away from a, a dealer who may even be able to save them a dollar or two on, on some product. In these licensed medical companies like, like Liberty, we not only are testing everything, we're testing for potency, we're testing for molds and mildews, we're testing you know, for what you're putting into your body. We know how many people have handled the product. From you know, soccer moms, uh, to grandparents, to graduate students, professionals, um, every walk of life comes into our dispensaries. Uh, we treat a, you know, a, a huge subset of, of illnesses and ailments, uh, everything from pain you know, to anxiety to you know, sleeping problems you know, to glioblastoma, you know, terminal cancer and AIDS. Cannabis has been you know, such a relief to a lot of people. It's such a miracle plant.